Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set up, open up um, a Lightwave. I'm going to run it from the layer, that shortcut we created. Okay, so if I double click on there and go run. Now that I've opened this up, okay, it would have written, when I close it down, it'll write the files to the config folder. So later on, this becomes very important when we have our scene files that we're going to use, okay? So what I can do, I'm going to click O for options on the keyboard. Okay, it's a shortcut. I'm just going to go to paths, okay? So for our content directory, I've already set it up before, but what, we, what we'll do you can change the content directory the scene file okay when we open up our scene we're going to copy our scene to the shared directory and it'll create this for us later on I just wanted to show you where it was now the other thing we have to do is I'm going to go to my render okay and in our network render the command directory it'll probably say C something there click on the command directory and you have to go to that now we created that um, light wave on the X drive there. We created that command folder. You need to select that. Okay. Okay. Yes, I want to reinitialize after doing that. Okay. I haven't got any any batch files running at the moment. We'll run those in a minute. Okay. So we've set up our command folder. Okay. There's no there is no batch files running. We'll show you those in a minute. So we have to make sure that command folder is in the right directory. Okay. Now for the um, content, so if I go to that, although we're in content, I've created a project. This is a project I've done, an old project, it's actually from 2011. Um, but in here, you've got to make sure you have this file structure. Okay, you can have whatever, I've, I've got the HMA, it's Hunter Manufacturing Awards, okay. But if I um, have each project, and inside each project I'll have 3D, the images, objects, renders, scenes. You need to have this file structure set up properly so Lightwave can find all the files it needs. Okay, so uh, what I can do is I've copied this from somewhere else and I've put it in this shared folder. Okay, so make sure that your project that you're running is in here. And when we run, open it up, I'm gonna, I'll go to scenes, uh, masters. Okay, I'll just run this one. Okay, that, I just had to pause it for a second to fit the screen on again. But it opened up here now. This is where you want to make sure you set up your content path correctly, okay? When you first open it up off the network drive, it should ask you, do you want to make this your um, content directory? You can go yes. But what we can do is we can go to option. Oops, sorry, here, go options. Go to paths. And you can select the content directory. It's got a loaded text, so we go content directory. And we'll go down to there. Select that 3D folder. So you go to the content directory on the network drive, the project I've got happening in the 3D. And go OK. Now that now it's going to make that the content directory so that um, Lightwave will know where the content is on the network. If you don't do this properly, your network rendering won't work. Okay. And it doesn't save this in the configuration files until you close it down. Okay. And if I go to render. I need to go to my render globals, okay, and the output, okay, I've just got, I'm saving uh, Lightwave 24, you can do Lightwave, you can, whatever file type you like here, I'll just leave it on 24, your RGB files, and you've got to go through, on your network drive again, this is your content, HMA, 3D, I just set up a file on your network drive, this is the LS, this one here, uh, renders and made a folder there now, and, and I've just named it there so if I go save it has to be on that network drive if you don't set it up there properly it won't work okay so I go shift s okay now I've done that what I need to do is shut down Lightwave okay and I'm going to open Lightwave I'm going to open that file up again okay so if I go to my content folder, HMA, 3D, scenes, masters, number 27 it was. Okay. Now the reason why I shut it down and opened it up again, 
those can the config files get written when the file is shut down okay so and we needed those config files if I if I just um, grab this here in the program folder in this config here until you shut it down what it does it writes in here okay I'll just open it up with notepad okay I'll just go open um, sorry wait a sec okay I just went open notepad if I drag that to there see how now it's got output content directory and hierarchy it saved that to the configuration file after I closed it down so once you set all that up you need to close it down. you could manually go through and do this but it's easier to do this okay so for the next project what you do is you set it all up and then when you close it down it'll write to the content directory okay it'll write this for you okay so I've shut that down then I open it back up and once I open it back up okay that's when all the files are right so we'll just pause it here next thing we'll do is we'll set up some batch files and um, then we'll get the network rendering happening